Roots of Abraham Lincoln Abraham Lincoln, Life, Leadership, and Legacy Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, is one of the most iconic figures in American history. His leadership during the American Civil War, his efforts to end slavery, and his commitment to preserving the Union have left an enduring legacy. Lincoln's story is not only one of great political achievement but also of personal struggle, resilience, and moral conviction. This essay examines Lincoln's life, his path to the presidency, his handling of the Civil War, his role in ending slavery, and the lasting impact he has had on the United States. Early Life and Background Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809, in a log cabin in Hardin County, Kentucky, now LaRue County. His family was poor, and Lincoln's early years were marked by hardship and manual labor. His father, Thomas Lincoln, was a farmer and carpenter, and his mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln, died when Abraham was just nine years old. His stepmother, Sarah Bush Johnston, played a significant role in his life, encouraging his love of reading and learning despite his limited formal education. Lincoln's early life in rural America exposed him to the struggles of ordinary people, shaping his later political views. He had less than a year of formal schooling but was largely self-taught, reading every book he could find. This thirst for knowledge would prove invaluable as he climbed the ladder of political leadership. Early Political Career Lincoln's political career began in Illinois, where he moved in 1830. In 1834, he was elected to the Illinois State Legislature as a member of the Whig Party. He was a strong proponent of internal improvements, such as roads and canals, and believed that government should play a role in promoting economic development. During this time, Lincoln began studying law and was admitted to the Illinois Bar in 1836. He became a successful lawyer, known for his sharp intellect, persuasive speaking, and honesty, earning him the nickname Honest Abe. His legal career allowed him to develop important relationships that would aid his political career. Lincoln served one term in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1847 to 1849, where he was vocal in his opposition to the Mexican-American War. After this, he returned to Illinois and withdrew from politics for several years, focusing on his law practice. However, the issue of slavery would soon draw him back into the political arena. Lincoln and Slavery One of the defining aspects of Lincoln's career was his opposition to the expansion of slavery. While he was not an abolitionist in the early stages of his political career, he opposed slavery on moral and economic grounds. Lincoln's return to politics was sparked by the passage of the Kansas-Nebraska Act in 1854, which allowed new territories to decide for themselves whether they would permit slavery. This act effectively repealed the Missouri Compromise and opened the door for the spread of slavery into the Western territories. In response, Lincoln delivered a series of speeches that argued against the spread of slavery, asserting that it was a moral, social, and political wrong. He gained national attention in 1858 during his Senate campaign against Stephen A. Douglas. Though Lincoln lost the election, his debates with Douglas, particularly on the issue of slavery, cemented his reputation as a formidable political thinker. In 1860, the newly formed Republican Party, which was opposed to the expansion of slavery, nominated Lincoln as its candidate for president. His election that year was seen as a threat by the southern states, which feared that his presidency would lead to the abolition of slavery. Lincoln as President Lincoln took office on March 4, 1861, in a nation on the brink of collapse. By the time of his inauguration, seven southern states had already seceded from the Union, forming the Confederate States of America. In his inaugural address, Lincoln attempted to strike a conciliatory tone, assuring the South that he had no intention of interfering with slavery where it already existed, but he made it clear that he would not allow the Union to be dissolved. Just over a month into Lincoln's presidency, the Civil War began when Confederate forces fired on Fort Sumter in South Carolina. Lincoln faced the enormous challenge of leading the country through its bloodiest conflict, 
where the stakes were not only the preservation of the Union but also the future of slavery in the United States. Emancipation Proclamation As the Civil War progressed, Lincoln's views on slavery evolved. Initially, his primary goal was to preserve the Union, even if that meant tolerating slavery in the southern states. However, as the war dragged on, it became clear that ending slavery was central to achieving lasting peace. On January 1, 1863, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, declaring that all enslaved people in Confederate-held territory were to be set free. While the proclamation did not immediately free all enslaved individuals, it fundamentally changed the character of the war. It transformed the fight from a battle to preserve the Union into a battle for human freedom. The Emancipation Proclamation also allowed for the enlistment of African American soldiers in the Union Army, strengthening the Union's forces. Lincoln's bold move was not without its critics. Many in the North opposed emancipation, fearing it would prolong the war or lead to racial unrest. However, the proclamation solidified Lincoln's legacy as a champion of freedom and set the stage for the eventual abolition of slavery nationwide. The Gettysburg Address One of Lincoln's most famous speeches is the Gettysburg Address, delivered on November 19, 1863, at the dedication of the Soldiers' National Cemetery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The speech, though only 272 words long, is considered one of the greatest in American history. In it, Lincoln reaffirmed the principles of liberty and equality enshrined in the Declaration of Independence, and he framed the Civil War as a test of whether a nation conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal could endure. Lincoln's words at Gettysburg were both a tribute to the soldiers who had died in battle and a call for the nation to continue the fight for a new birth of freedom. The speech emphasized the importance of national unity and the idea that the survival of the Union was essential for the future of democracy itself. Lincoln's Second Term and Assassination Lincoln was re-elected in 1864, a testament to his leadership during the war. By this time, the Union had gained the upper hand, and victory seemed imminent. Lincoln's second inaugural address, delivered in March 1865, struck a tone of reconciliation. He urged Americans to move forward with malice toward none, with charity for all and to work toward healing the nation's wounds. Tragically, Lincoln did not live to see the full realization of his vision for the United States. On April 14, 1865, just days after the Confederate surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, Lincoln was shot by John Wilkes Booth while attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. He died the following morning, plunging the nation into mourning. Legacy Abraham Lincoln's legacy is immense. He is remembered as the president who preserved the Union and ended slavery in the United States. His leadership during one of the nation's darkest times, his eloquence, and his commitment to justice and equality have made him a symbol of American ideals. The Thirteenth Amendment, passed shortly after his death, formally abolished slavery throughout the United States, fulfilling Lincoln's goal of ending the institution. His vision of a united, free nation helped shape the future of the United States and continues to inspire generations. Lincoln's character marked by humility, perseverance, and moral conviction has made him a revered figure not only in the U.S. but around the world. His ability to navigate a deeply divided nation, to evolve in his thinking, and to make bold decisions in the face of immense opposition are qualities that define his greatness. Today, Abraham Lincoln stands as a beacon of hope, justice, and equality, a leader whose vision helped define the meaning of American democracy. Key Accomplishments Issued the Emancipation Proclamation, declaring freedom for all slaves in Confederate territory. Delivered the Gettysburg Address, redefining the purpose of the Civil War and reaffirming American values. Signed the Thirteenth Amendment, abolishing slavery throughout the United States. Unifying the country, leading the nation through its most divisive period and strengthening federal authority. Conclusion in conclusion, Abraham Lincoln was a remarkable leader who played a crucial role in shaping the history of the United States. 
his leadership during the Civil War helped to preserve the Union and abolish slavery. Lincoln's legacy continues to inspire people around the world, and he is remembered as one of the greatest American presidents. Lincoln's life serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of compassion, courage, and conviction in leadership. His unwavering commitment to freedom and equality continues to inspire generations of Americans.